Scorpio, Scorpio, how you doing? Hey, how are you, Scorpio? So uh, we are going over your uh, December channeled messages. This is not a tarot reading, but it kind of is. Towards the end, I have actually started to do something else that I've done for the other readings, but mainly this is the not a tarot reading part. This can be a brother, mother, sister, family, love interest, love partner, third party, who knows? But we just go over the channel messages of what I hear, and then we ask you to relate them to whoever you do within your life. Okay, Scorpio, so the first thing that I picked up for you is, is I've locked you out of my life and my accounts. Some of you have locked someone out with the name Lucy, or L Lucky Lucy, or Lucky Lucky, you've pulled your last shift. It's like, I've pulled my last shift. You know what? I am not working anymore. Some of you could be on a break or a holiday, okay? But it's like, I am not going to work for you anymore. I'm sorry, but I've told you once and I've told you twice before. I do not want to work for you and I'm not going to work for you. Someone is like, whatever this energy is, Scorpio, they are very, very, very persistent in to get into your life or to your account or to your, uh, well, they it could be your accounts and to your money, I don't know, but it's definitely going to be involving your finances is what I feel, Scorpio. And it's uh, uh, your message is, I've locked you out once and I've locked you out twice and I've told you, no, you can't get in. So it feels a little bit like the big bad wolf of keep trying to get into your home life or so, or your personal life. And it's like, look, if I've told you once and I've told you twice, then keep out of it and stop keep asking me. I've told you once that I don't want to reconcile or I told you once that the answer is no. So why is it that when I say no, you say <laughs> nothing. It's like, well, I say nothing at all. So there's a song there. So uh, you've kind of got this, uh, if I've told you once, I've told you twice, then stop asking because I've already told you no. But some of this is about work. Okay, and it's, look, I've, I've told you I can't do it. I'm sorry, but I can't. It's not possible. There's no possible way that I can do it. Or I can't work for you anymore. And I've told you once and I've told you no, I can't do it. So I don't know if this is to do with around... Um, around your finances and money or or work situation but there's a lot of turning people off and turning people down and it don't matter what you do or what you say this person is still remaining the same to be persistent to keep trying to find stuff out about your life or to try and make you feel very uncomfortable and I feel that you are compromised in certain way again Scorpio uh, through December for your channel messages and I feel it's like an all told, all toll, uh, from from toll, uh, from something toll, something toll. Okay, but it's like pay the toll master, or pay the master, uh, pay master, the pay grade, your money. I don't think it's adding up. Again, you could have something to do with around Libra. Things not adding up, okay, the name Adam or Adam and Eve, and it might also be a Gemini. Okay, but things don't add up. It's like, like, no matter what I do or what I say, I can't say the right thing, can I? And this person's like, yes, but you're not listening. And it's no, like, oh, no, I'm not listening to you. That's why I've already said, stop keep asking me. Stop keep pressuring me. Stop keep putting me up against the wall. Stop intimidating me. There is also a Leo energy here as well involved somehow. And it's like, look, I feel intimidated. Don't keep asking me personal questions. If I've told you before that that's personal and it's private, then you're not a private eye. You're not a detective. You don't keep... Someone's detecting a lot of narcissism control, Scorpio. This might not be your love lives, but I really do feel like that someone keeps remaining persistent to keep trying to do it. It's like, no, 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 we're going to have to make up. We're going to have to make up for this. So I don't know if there's this make up to break up again, break a chain to make a chain, but like, I just want to make up so we can break up. And then I want to make up so we can break up again. And then I just want to make up so we can break up again and then again and again. And I feel like that you're so pissed off of it, Scorpio, that you're like, like I've done this so many times and I've run over the same old ground, like two lost souls swimming in a fish bowl. You could be something to do with around this uh, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? But I've gone over it and I've gone over it and I've rehearsed it and I've rehearsed it and I know for a fact that this person is going to ask me and I know what I'm going to say. Some of you, you're looking for closure again, <laughs> or they are, and it's like, no, I've rehearsed it and I've rehearsed it and I know what I'm going to say. When they appear up in my energy, I'm pretty much going to say no, piss off. So you might have this energy where somebody out there is looking for closure to close a chapter, but all they want is for the person to admit that they're wrong or to admit that you're right and it feels like that as soon as this person turns up I'm pretty much going to turn them down anyway so I think that whatever this is that it appears to be for you Scorpio even if it's work where you've kind of made your mind up already and you have this 
strange sensation feeling that this person is going to turn up at your door or on the phone or on an email or a message and then it's going to come through and I feel that you already know what the answer is going to be. I think that when this person asks you a question, if it is to do with work, you are going to hear them out but I think that you're also going to feel them out, which means that I've put my feelers out there already and I kind of have a good clue that this sort of stuff's happening and I'm going to see what you're going to offer me first of a quality. So it's always one way, though. There's always more or less. You're definitely dealing with a Libra, I feel. Okay, and uh, it depends on what you're going to offer me, okay, as a relationship or work or money, but it depends what you're going to offer me is going to depend of whether I feel that you've changed without me having to say it. Because I feel like that some of you are really, really dealing with around a high priestess energy of not speaking to someone, right? Or, or there's spies out there, or spies like us, right? And it feels like that. Uh, I know that this is happening, and that when this person turns up, I'm either one, going to turn them down, or two, I'm just going to wait for them to turn up just to see what they say, and if they admit all of these things or they offer me a load more money or something like that. But if it goes back to the old routine, very good song. But if it goes back to the old routine, then it's going to be more of like sing me a lullaby. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Because I think that somebody has to come to you, Scorpio, to, to reconcile or for you to turn them down. Some of you, it's different. It's the love life thing. If you're really being compromised and arguing with someone, somebody out there is looking for reconciliation and closure for this person to come back and apologise just so they can say, OK, fair enough, I've, I've heard it from you, I don't want you. Even though this person's in denial and they actually do, is what I feel, Scorpio. Sorry if you are on that receiving end, but trust me, you can. I've been down that road. So um, there's this energy of as soon as you come back, I just want you to apologise and then we can all just let the chips fall as they may and reconcile and then we'll all be back together happy ever after or at least we can then coexist as a family and I think that you're like, no, bro, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm not even going to reconcile. I'm not even going to... Uh, I'm not even going to try to explain to you because you don't listen anyway. So what's the point in me saying it? Because you've tried to do this so many times that uh, as soon as you've said it, I don't believe what you say anyway. So I don't, I don't believe it. So a lot of you, sorry if I keep saying so, but it might be from Soham, a place called Soham or Zoe. Killing Zoe also. Did anybody ever watch that? I think they came up last month. Killing Zoe. Something also around blood work, blood group... Um, or uh, a disease of some kind, right? But uh, around a robbery, a bank robbery, right? So it feels like Robin, the name Robin, or Daylight Robbery, right? And it's like, uh, this is Daylight, Living Daylights also. Something to do with Sean Connery. We did pick that up last month for the month before, a month before he died. Uh, and unfortunately, I heard that he did die. <laughs> so something around Sean, the name Sean, or around the corner, somebody that is around the corner, Connit or Michael, or uh, around the corner. So somebody that lives around the corner from you. So they're not far off, okay? So uh, I'm hearing far and away or so someone that lives in Australia. Um, but generally, if we generalise that, Scorpio, I feel that you've, you've put your, your work in to know that what you stopped doing before, you've stopped it for a reason. And I don't know if this is where I'm, I'm looking at you... Uh, I've looked at you, at, I'm sorry, That because it's, it's to do with accounts and money, right? And it feels like I've, I've done my research, I've done my work, I've understood that this is happening. It don't matter whether you admit it or whether you don't admit it. I've come to the conclusion where I've actually done the work and I've figured it all out on paper, right? Or I've figured out the fact that you're having an affair, or I've figured out the fact that you don't listen, right? So I've figured out, as a Scorpio, that... Whether you come back into my life and offer me something or not, it's going to be depending on what you're going to admit to and say, whether or what my response is going to be. Because I want you to say something other than what you've already always said, and not to run over the same old ground. It could be something to do with around a Cancerian, or a driving, something to do with a car also. And someone that could be using even a car as a tool to manipulate people, right? Because I am picking that up for you, Scorpio. This is not always your love life, though, guys. I'm trying to stick with the messages of what they are. 
So please don't just think, okay, this is going to be a message and it's all to do with my love life. If it is, your love life is also going to be your parents and your family and your children and your job and your work, right? So there are so many things that they're saying that you love doing, but there's someone that always tries to feel as if they are trying to stand in the way of what it is that you want to do or be for yourself, and they won't let you be. They do, or the name be, right? Or be on, be on, or a fiance. For some of you, it's a fiance, right? Fiance. Um, we have picked up on that in other readings, like a fiance. Some of you, this was expecting a ring if it's around an Aries. Beyonce or fiance. Mm. So I don't know where this message is coming from of like, like you've tried once, you've tried what? This is around Libra. <laughs> around that, uh, there's a string of failed attempts here. You've tried once, you've tried twice, you've tried three times, and I'm sorry, but you failed. So there's something like around a test of Capricorn or a test of karma of this person could really well be coming back round again in order to take something from you, they're saying. Like physically come around to your house or you going around to their house. And this has happened before around the house. Because um, it feels like, like you, when you come around, all you do is seem to take stuff. Oh, is this someone that steals things from someone's house or home? Every time you seem to come around my house, you seem to take a piece of me with you. You could be dealing with the Pisces, but you seem to take a piece of me with you. Which is, what, take the weather with you, Heather? That you seem to take uh, children away from me? Or you take my sanity away? But whatever it is, you seem to come here and then take a piece of me with you. So is this where someone's moving... And they take pieces of stuff from one place to another. And everything seems to be like from one place from a mother or to a mother. And I go from here and take a piece and leave it there. And then I take another piece from here and I take it and put it there. So some of you are very controlled and good within your finances. Because you take a piece and you put it into something and invest it into like say, I don't know, a company or something of your own. And you're like, okay, I'm going to take this piece of money and I'm going to put it there. I'm going to take this piece and leave it there. And take this piece and leave it there. There's a lot of stuff that's being left in places, uh, Scorpio. If it's business and stuff like that, it's very good. But because it's implanting it in front of people's eyes. This is a little bit like um, uh, buying and selling. You put the most best thing in front of people's eyes, right? So you've kind of got this. Uh, what is this though? Like I take a piece of you with me every time. So I take a piece of you with me every time, of you, of you, alchemy in you, maybe. Uh, but I take a piece of you with me everywhere I go. So is this a, a locket or a Lucy or a, um, uh, a specific, like a ring or something? So I'm picking up that someone has like a, you know, if you lose a, a loved one and you had them uh, cremated or something, you can take a piece of their Ashley, the name Ashley, or uh, a piece of their ash, and you can put it in a ring and you take it with you wherever you go. Because this thing that is item that seems to be on you is something that you take with you every time you leave the house or wherever it is that you go. You take a piece of that with you. Now, I don't know if this is actually a piece of a person. And the only way that you are possible to do that is if you take a, an item of something of theirs with you and you keep it with you, like a locket of hair or, um, I don't know, of like a ring or something that, you, that reminds you of this person, you take it with you. Now, even if you're going to see someone that you're in good uh, standing with, it feels like that you leave something there or you have left something there. It's like, well, I'm just going to leave this here. Save me keep like bringing it backwards and forwards all of the time. I'm going to bring this garment with me or these clothes with me and I'm going to leave them at yours. So some of you are dating someone and you go from here to here and you're mostly compromised living here than what you are here. And there is an, a rainbow here of all right, bungle, which would be uh, Pisces, right? Ten of Cups. So it's from home to home or work from work. And wherever I go and wherever I lay my hat, I take something from here and place it here. So you've kind of got this energy maybe where you go and stay at someone else's place, right? You, here we call it you stay at their place or my place. So you can stay at my place or I stay at your place. So some of you for Christmas, 
you're now thinking about that. Like, I'm going to stay at your place and I'm going to bring all of my stuff with me and sleep over or stay over or something like that. Or uh, this is where you slowly start to move into someone's place and that you leave your articles of clothing. Or this could be someone that comes to you. I mean, if you're men, you normally go to the women, but either way. But every time I go, I leave a piece of me there, right? So how on earth can you leave a piece of you there? I mean, is this like a scent or a smell or something that you leave? Like um, um, a spell? <laughs> Hopefully there's no spell in witchcraft. Like I take a piece of my spell with me. What? I take a piece of spell with me. Or smell. Like, or Kelly. The name Kelly. Or I take a piece of smell with me. I take a piece to sell with me. So some of you, you're like a traveling work and that you, where you travel to, you take like your laptop or your computer, right? And you, you take it with you to sell things. So you're pretty much like a, someone that sells stuff and wherever you go, you take a piece of that in order to sell it, right? So what is that for then? Because it feels like you travel around quite a lot and you work from home but you work from home from home. like So wherever you work, you can work wherever you go. So it's kind of like, well, I'm always selling stuff. So you're always selling things. So some of you are setting it all up so all of the time you're always selling something. That's marketing, right? Or the name Mark or a Capricorn or, a, yeah, X marks the spot. So something around like buying and selling and wherever I go and I lay my hat, I can sell stuff, right? So you're very good at selling yourself. Also selling yourself short is also what I'm hearing. Like you're worth more. That's why this energy of someone coming back and asking and it's saying that it depends on what you're worth. Like it, it, it could be really to do with around Libra energy. You'll have to watch that one. Whereas like, well, what am I worth? Like I don't want, I'm, you're not gonna take me from here to get me to work for you here because I'm actually worth more now here. So also around your love life, this is changing for, man, I've really got to sort this seat out. Like, I'm worth more now. I've understood a lot more now. And if you want me, then you're going to have to come to me and ask for it. But I'm not going to leave this job and go to this job here without you offering me something that's going to cover what I might lose. So if I'm going to lose all of this, because there is a winning or losing energy here around Libra. And I'm not going to, this is like even people that have, um, uh, that work, but they're elderly people and they, and they get their pension. Okay. And this could be people that work out the schemes of, if you live in the UK, you can uh, do a part-time job and then also get paid by the government as well, as long as it doesn't cover so many hours. If you've got kids, if you've got children, you can do a small piece of work, but it has to not be that much because they will start to deduct it from the money that the government gives you. So you've kind of got this energy as well that of working it around where I can do a couple of hours, but I can't do so many hours because that will either one, take me from the job that I'm doing and buying and earning more money, or that would be I get more money through the government than what I actually do from you as a boss. So I can only really do an hour or two because when I'm here, I get more money by doing nothing. <laughs> from, well, that's the UK for you. <coughs> um, never been down that road myself, but that is feasible in this country. If you have children here, you really don't have to work. And if you do work, you lose money. And that's the way it is. If you've got kids, you can probably get more money by not working. So um, you've kind of got that out there for you that might be in other countries and it might be because your parents, right? And that it, it's to do with your parents. There's something to do with your parents, with Mary. But there's something to do with parents. With the name Mary? Okay, uh, but you being a parent for a lot of you, parent guardian, and guarding your children, and guarding your, guarding your work and protecting it and going over everything to say that this is mine. You know, this isn't yours. It's mine. It's, so a lot of you work for yourself. And you're like, no, this is mine. It's nobody else's. It is literally straight from the horse's mouth. A lot of you might like, well, for me, brother, I just speak straight from my mouth. If it's here, I come straight out of it. So as I thought, I'm just going to come straight out with this. So someone is really approaching someone and saying, look, I'm just going to come straight out with it. So <laughs> someone really could be asking you a question that comes up that's quite important. 
and think, oh, Sonic, you know what, I need them, so I'm, I'm just going to come straight out with it. So someone is going to be honest here, and they are going to say, look, I'll give you my honest opinion, and I'll be straight up with you. And I'm saying, so somebody here, so I, I can't say what it is, Scorpio, but somebody here is going to come to a energy and be straight up with someone and say, look, I'm going to be straight up, straight on the line, and, and just lay it straight on the line. This is what I want, right? Now, if this person, again, comes to you and says something, I think you're having this discussion with someone and saying, you know, if they turn up at my door, I'm just going to lay it straight out the line. I'm going to say, you know, I want this much. Or what happened before, it ain't happening again. And what did happen before, we need to go over that and discuss that first because we can't forget the past. So whatever happened in the past to stop that happening in the future, when this person or energy comes here again, if it's work or money, I think you might be saying, okay, there are new terms and conditions now, and it's actually on my terms and my conditions of whether I actually want you back in my life or if I actually want this job or money. Okay, and I think that you've now took back control and power of yourself where you know that you are very stable where you are now, right? Wherever it is that you are now, or this could be the other person, but wherever it is that you are now, you realise to build it, it's to build it and watch it grow, right? It feels like that you're climbing the ladder. So some of this is uh, Aladdin <laughs> or Ali, or the name Ali or Alison or Al or Steve, but or Ray Owls. But again, right, uh, like you're climbing the ladder. So some of this could be to do with around uh, a mortgage and you're, on the, you're putting yourself on the market in order to uh, climb the ladder of like, okay, this company is mine or this house is mine and I am now looking in order to put myself on the property market or on the council list or something and I'm going to put myself on the list and then eventually we can start to see it grow. And that might be where you might, if you live apart, right, you might think about getting a place together. If you're, if you're together with your partner and you're in a relationship, but you are physically not moved in yet, and you can't really move in with one another here, say there's a mother and a mother here or whatnot, or, or something. And in between here is a, a chance now for you to say, like if we're going to be together and we're going to work on this project together or if we're going to move in together, then why don't we put ourselves on one, the council list or get a mortgage or a property or look into that and how much that might be for a bigger place so we can all move in or just me and you move in or me and the kids, so on and so forth. And we get a house that's shared instead of it being all yours or mine. Right. Because you've got this, you know, this energy of like, I've, I'm in a better standing position now than what I was before, and that I probably have now more money, or I have more backing now, right? So because I'm now firm and solid of where I am, to put myself on the market, right, I've got a firm position of the grips of me being in more in reality more than a myth. So I've figured a lot of stuff out through your December, I feel, Scorpio. And uh, some of this could be to do with the property value of something that you could be looking for to buy that's very stable for you in your life, right? Now, a lot of you, like I said, this could be a car or it could be a... Um, this could be the winning and the losing thing of around Aries as well. But for you, it now seems to be that you could be the one that's purchasing it, right? For somebody or you're going to purchase it for yourself or together with your partner, right? And uh, you're thinking, okay... We're very much grounded and we're solid now. and We've actually got quite a bit of money saved or whatnot. And now I can go ahead and actually purchase this thing that I really want that's going to help me for my future. And for a lot of you, that could play out in different factors. And it could all be all in one because it could be things like cars, a house, anything that's a big, uh, a big, a big outlet for a big windfall. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a fool, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm not just going to put all of this money down if it's a waste of my time, or I'm not going to put all my energy into it if it's a waste of time. I would rather just let that go and concentrate on one thing. That can be a job, it can be anything that makes your life much more easier to realise that to let a load of stuff go is actually going to make my workload a lot more uh, easier to, to work with, right? And that would also be up for a, say, relationship. It's much easier if we continue to do this 
like and keep someone out of our relationship that could be parents or it could be if we do this secretly and we do this together instead of letting other people know that we're doing it if we are planning of moving in or or doing anything like that or making a major purchase together then we're best doing this together and keeping everybody else out of our uh, relationship or business and then just just do that ourselves and see what happens before we pretty much let everybody know that that's what I am or we are planning to actually do and that's really what I pick up for you guys um, so what else have we got um, well that was pretty much it sorry because my door is just the door is just gone uh, something to do with around the door is just gone the daughter is just gone I don't know if your daughter has just left. Something to do with someone's daughter. Daughter. My daughter's just gone. Or my daughter's just moving in. or Because uh, I'm hearing my daughter's just moved on. Donna. The name Donna. Or someone's just moved on. Or somebody has just moved. Someone's just moved. Somebody's moved on already. They've already moved on. <laughs> or the name Don. Don. Ron also Ronald or McDonald's but like uh, someone's just moved on they have moved on or just passed like someone's just passed on their name could be Don someone's just passed on I mean I don't know it's very strange right because I don't know what this is I done someone a personal reading right and I, I do my readings, if I can, my personal ones, and get it back to everybody within 24 hours, if I can. And uh, I sent this reading to somebody on the 7th, and they haven't even watched it. And I haven't had no reply or anything. And uh, it does tell me if people have watched their reading, because then I at least know that they've got it, and so on and so forth. And I normally just look for that one, and I think, okay, you've got it, you've seen it, and so on and so forth. But this person reached out, and uh, this was on the 7th. And uh, well, that they got their reading and they haven't watched it. So I hope that you're all right. I don't know what sign you was. I can't remember. But uh, I hope that you've are okay. You've received your reading, um, and I haven't heard anything from you. So I, I hope you're okay. I don't know what this is. Uh, whether that you are a Scorpio, I don't know. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. Um, but something about I've already passed on. Like I've already passed this over to them. This is a bit like a handover, like I've already handed it over to them, right? I'm already going to hand it over to them. So this is more like I'm going to hand it over to you, right? It's up to you. <laughs> you are dealing with a Libra because they are in this. It's up to you. It's up to you. Do you want to or don't you want to? Do you want to or don't you? Uh, and their energy was be very careful about reconciliation because they had the nine of wands and so on and so forth here that could be a very controlled energy, right? So they're saying that, Again, you could have really have something to do with Libra, something rising, Venus, Jupiter, or whatever. Uh, and it's up to you. And I think that those messages are, I'm in more of a stable position now. And without me doing all of this, I know the power is now in my hands of attorney, the power of attorney, or the, the information is now in my hands and I have it and I know. So because it's all now in my hands, the karma is now coming back to me in order to make a decision. If it's happened before and before and before again, it depends what's offered to me of whether I want to open up and actually take it or not. So you've kind of, sorry about the, the, the absolute chaos. Um, but you've definitely got this energy of like this, uh, it, it's all in my hands now, okay? And then it depends if I want to open up and let you into my life at all, ever, or if I've made my mind up anyway and I know the fact that you're always trying to get into here of something that's blocked, which is also around Taurus energy, the Four of Pentacles, what I'm picking up. And I'm always picking up the fact that you're always trying to get back into my life. And to be quite honest with you, I don't want it. That's what I'm hearing. I don't want it. It's not worth my time. Because if it's happened and happened and happened and happened, you realise that this person's always forcing to get into your life, is always trying to reconcile, and I feel that you know that there is a lot of control and narcissism around you, and you're understood that, like I said, the energy at the beginning of like, all I want is an apology, or you can or you don't have to because I've moved on. You have not, I have. I've learned, you've not. And the people that don't are normally the people that always persist to ask, right? 
And I always persist and think, okay, well, I'm going to do it again and do it again. I'm just going to abuse this person to just keep doing it for. So I'm going to do it, do it, do it, do it, and can persist. And the energy is here of like, well, I've already learned. So I've already moved on. You can keep doing that if you want, but you're not going to get fuck all from me. And you're not going to get me to open up. I am not. No, that's what I'm hearing is the answer is no. So people that are very manipulative around you, your answer is going to be no, is what I feel, Scorpio. Uh, so that is uh, anything that could relate to anything at all for December. We, d we don't know if it's work, love, all of the above. Um, but uh, we've got this reading for you now. So think of any kind of questions because these are the yes, yes, no, no, uh, maybe, uh, choose a new direction, so on and so forth. Uh, so we're going to see what this might be for you. So you can think of questions that you want answering if you like. But let's see, Scorpio. Uh, this is not for December. This is just presently as soon as you watch it. Okay, and it could be a lead up to. Uh, so not the right time. This is not the right time to pressurise a Scorpio. So if you're really thinking about asking and asking and asking and asking, then this is not the right time. This is not the right time to be bothered with somebody that you know is going to betray you or to try and get into your energy or persist to keep doing it. It's not the right time. But unfortunately, the people that do persist are also not the people that watch. OK, so what we realize as energy is it's more about us because I can say this to anybody and say, look, it's not the right time to ask or do anything bad towards a person. And those people in life, they more than likely won't be watching tarot readings or generally this one. So they will more than likely remain persistent where you, where the energy is of what a spirit would say, it's really not the right time. So if you're a Scorpio and you are really thinking about doing something, it's not the right time, right? It's not the right time. That's at the moment. It's not about the right time, but we will clarify them to see what they are. Show me Scorpio. Scorpio. So if you believe, if you believe in a thing called love, then you believe in it. But it's not the right time. Whether you believe in it or not, it really isn't the right time to do it. So uh, the more you believe that this person is going to stop doing it, the more they're not. Because it's really not the right time. And uh, if you believe in it, well, they'll say that if you believe, it will come. If you build it, they will come. It could be around Noah, right, or Noah's Ark. If you believe, they will come, right? If you build it, they will come. So you have to try. But there's this energy of like, I want you to try. At least just try and talk. I want you to at least try to reconcile with this person. Or I just want you to at least try. That's what I keep hearing. At least can we try? This might be for a baby as well as what I'm picking up. Like, at least can we just try, right? Can I put you on a trial period? Can I put you on hold? <laughs> it's always saying what I'm hearing. Like, can I just put you on hold because I really don't know because I haven't made my mind up. I don't know if this is the right time or not. I might be able to, but you're really going to have to like throw some more in for me in order to think, you know, what that's worth my time. So uh, they're, they're saying that not the right time at the moment it might be in the future, but I really feel like this is that it depends what the offer is of whether it's going to be the right time or not. Because when this comes in, you really might not expect it. And it could be like, I'm sorry, but this is just not the right time. I've got so much work on. I can't do it. But this person's then going to say, you know, if you believe, well, do you believe me or not? Because me, I don't believe in law of attraction. I believe that it's when it's time, it's time. You know, it's all preordained in destiny. And when it is time, it is time. And it's time for you to give a load of stuff over. It's time to reconcile. It's time because you can't stop other people. That's why you can't control destiny because you can't control someone else's. Right. So you can never control what they're ever going to think at a moment's notice at any point. The only thing that you can ever really be concerned about is yourselves, okay? So you definitely could well be dealing with around a Libra because they had a, an energy here uh, uh, that mentioned that. Uh, you're ready. So this is not the right time if you believe you're ready, right, to go for gold. So you are ready. You are ready. 
We'll find out what they are, because they're, they're all compromised different cards. Not the right time, if you believe you're ready. So if you believe that you're ready, right, if you believe that you're ready to give it a good go, and you believe that you're ready to give it a good start, whatever this is in your life, then go for it. Go for gold, right? Don't hold back. Put your full amount of attention and uh, belief into that, because you have to try, right? You have to try. And this energy uh, is here is different than these two. It's not the right time because I believe in a thing called love and I believe in what I believe in, which is what I love doing myself. And if I do, then I'm ready to do it, okay? So there might be this energy, if it comes in of work, of look, this is really not the right time. I might be able to next week or the week after or tomorrow or the next day, but I can't do it at a moment's notice when you think that I can just drop everything. I've got to organise it first. I can't just like drop everything at a moment's notice so it's really not the right time at the moment, but maybe now I am ready, which could be days, weeks, months, or years. <laughs> right, in your own time. And then you've got unlikely, <laughs> really unlikely. So these are different messages for whatever these are, because they're compromised. This is the energy of like, okay, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is not the right time at the moment, even though I want to call you in, right? If you believe this person will come back, they will. Are you ready for it? Yeah, okay, thanks very much. Now piss off. So you've got someone here again that's wanting closure in order to tell someone like, unlikely. So, <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, not the right time. What's that for? What is not the right time? Please tell us for Scorpio what is not the right time. For this offer and this opportunity is not the right time. What is that though? Is that around love? Because it's an offer that comes in around what? Spirit. Money. Success. An opportunity. That's not the right time. So the channel messages could be right. That's why I'm using these as well. Okay. But the, the energy is, is that this person is th really thinking about coming back to make some sort of offer here. A large one. But it might not be just at the right time when you can take these opportunities, right? So you have got them coming in, but they might be when you, uh, this happens within your karma, when you've got so much on, that's normally when loads of things come in, you're like, oh, hold on a ship, hold, hold on a ship, <laughs> hold on a ship. <laughs> I've got to hold on my ship, right? Uh, hold on a minute. I can... And I might do, depends what you offer me, depends what these opportunities are, what you're going to offer me. So you're going to have to like add more in, which is more opportunities. What, what are you going to give me? But when this happens is normally when you've got loads on and then all of a sudden you get loads more. So these energies might be where you turn something down because you're like, I've got too many opportunities in, here in life to handle. So I can't do this for you at the, at the moment's notice whenever you want it. So if this is an external job that comes in as well, you're like, well, I might be able to do it, but not right now because I've got these two opportunities here in life, right? So they can be different, if you believe. If you believe in family, right? If you believe, you can move on. You are ready to do this. You are ready to move on. There is nothing that is holding you back now to say that you can't. So if there's anything to do with around family, whether you do or whether you don't want to reconcile, someone always still wants to, right? So there's always someone there that is persistent to keep wanting to try and make things up, to try and make things better. That is also around someone coming towards you. If you believe, then you can, you are ready to go forward on it, okay? On these opportunities in life. Six of uh, Swords. King of Cups, your love life. Your love life is here. So that's going from somewhere to somewhere, right? So your love lives here could be very good if you believe in it. If you believe in that person that much, they love you here. You are ready. You're ready. You're ready, Freddy. Oh, yes, no, no. Oh, yes, no. <laughs> Scorpio card. Oh, yes, no, hell no. That is, that's someone that is on their way to tell you that they love you, and that's for you to turn them down and say no. Yeah, in a way, these are for the people that want closure from an ex. Okay, you've wanted this opportunity all this time, I'm on my way. And if you're ready for it, no I'm not. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm not. No, I don't want it. No, I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm too busy with one, my love life, and I have that sorted out. Or two, okay, are you ready to reconcile? Are you ready to talk? No, I'm not ready to talk about it yet. I'm sorry, but I don't want to reconcile with somebody external or one general, a whole person. But no, I'm sorry. Are you ready? No, not yet. I'm sorry, but I've got way too much on. I can't. So don't don't even ask. <laughs> don't even ask. What is that Four of Cups about? If you're ready for this opportunity, from this queen, from a mother, or from a Libra, or a Gemini, or an Aquarius, all told, are you ready to hear the truth? Can you handle it? No. Well, you can ask, and you can say... But it depends what my response is going to be. It depends how much you're going to offer me. It depends how much you're going to give me. Because if it's a bullshit and you all you've done is take, all I do is give and all you do is take, but let me in, let me in for a brand new start. So won't you take another little piece of my heart? Won't you take it, break it, and tear it all apart? Because all you do is give, and all I do is do. So all you do is take. Take, 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 take. You never give me a quality. You never give me what I want, do you? No, because I've told you before. You always keep asking, and no matter what it is that you try to find out about my life, do I do my best to keep you out of it? And no matter how much I try, and no matter how much I do, you don't want to talk, do you? No, because I've told you before. Stay out of my life. Stop keep asking me. I am not ready yet. No, I've got things on. Are you ready? No. <laughs> so ready, steady, go. I don't care. I haven't took your feelings into consideration. I'm just going to keep trying anyway. Parenting situation for a lot. Or a person. All of them. <laughs> Unlikely. Sorry, but it's very unlikely. I've told you once before. The answer's no. But I'm going to have another opportunity in life. Let's reconcile. Let's talk about it. Tell everything you see. Ace of Wands. From a Sagittarius to a Three of Swords. It all comes to me. Unlikely. <laughs> it all comes to me. I'm sorry, but that's unlikely. Nope. Sorry, but... Someone's going to have to be turned down here because they keep trying to repair a broken heart. They keep trying to repair something. You can't repair it if it's broken because it's all to do with the head. People don't have free swords shoved through their heart, right? They're wounded <coughs> mentally, <coughs> mentally disturbed or mentally wounded. But I'm sorry, but uh, unlikely the fact that do I ever really want to go back into this same scenario that I've always gone through I'm sorry, but it's unlikely. So the answer's no there around somebody, but you do have Sagittarius. But it's very unlikely that you that someone's going to be accepted into this because that answer means no. It's very unlikely. No. Are you in a third party? No. Do you want to be in a third party? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you want to go through the same cycle? No, I don't. So someone then gets physically hurt, the fact that you don't want to do that. They can't work out why. They probably remain persistent. And then we actually have to find out what goes on through your December. But it feels like at the moment, you could have things that are really turning up at your door. But at least when you least expect it or least want it, this person's going to try, or you are, <laughs> to turn them down. Right? So they're going to remain persistent is what I feel is going to be coming up for your December, Scorpio. So thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate all your kind words, comments, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Any donations that have been made uh, for the PC and stuff that's coming up for the uh, for the uh, link provided below, which is for that place, whatever it's called, GoFundMe. Uh, anybody that joins Patreon, thank you so much all for watches. Uh, but everything is also going to be exactly the same as it is through the month. But I will explain that when we come towards doing your tarot cards towards the end of this month, where it comes up towards December. And then we go over to the uh, full access bundle where we do your 1st the 15th, 15th and 31st, blah, 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 so on and so forth. That doesn't appear anywhere else. And then we do the life path numbers and all that sort of jazz. But anyway, thank you so much. And I'll see you soon, Scorpio.